Have you ever wanted to make your own rock candy? Well, today I am going to teach you how with my rock candy science experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab your sugar and get ready for some sweet science. Today I am going to teach you how to make colorful rock candy sticks using science. Here's what you need. Rock candy sticks, one cup of water, three cups of white granulated sugar plus a little extra to sprinkle on your rock candy sticks, a few different glasses, some clothespins, and some food coloring. The first thing you want to do is you want to get the bottom third of your rock candy sticks wet. You can do this by running it under water in the sink. I'm just going to do it like this here. And then after you do that for a few seconds, lay them out on a plate, just like that. And we are going to sprinkle some sugar on top of them. You just want to completely coat your rock candy sticks, get as much sugar on there as possible. Might be a little overkill, but that's okay. Just go ahead and roll it around in the sugar. Set your rock candy sticks aside to dry for at least an hour, ideally overnight. Once your candy sticks are completely dry, you are ready to make your saturated solution of sugar. Here's how you do that. Add one cup of water to a pot, and then add three cups of white granulated sugar. One, stir that in so that it dissolves. And as we heat this up, this will dissolve even better. There's two, stir that in. What we are doing here is we are saturating the solution, meaning we're adding as much sugar as humanly possible to this water. At this temperature, it will not be able to, even if it wanted to, dissolve more sugar. Stir that in. Now put your heat on high. What we wanna do is bring our solution to a boil and allow it to boil for two minutes. Now that your solution is boiling, give it a good mix. Make sure all of that sugar has dissolved. And after that two minute timer is up, go ahead and turn your stove top off. And we are going to let this cool for about 15 minutes before we transfer it to our glasses. As your solution cools, we can prepare our glasses with our rock candy sticks. So go ahead and we want it to look like this. We want it to be suspended in the glass, not touching the bottom and not touching the sides. And clothespins work really well for this. For bigger glasses, I'll show you how to do it. So we have our rock candy stick that is dried overnight. One clothespin here, I'm going to measure, make sure it's not touching the bottom there. I'm gonna do one of these and then a second one right here and place it right in the center there. So now that they are all prepared and they're not touching the bottom and they're not touching the sides, go ahead and take them out because we are going to put our sugar solution in the glasses. One thing you can do to prepare your glasses for the still pretty hot solution is to run them under hot water to make sure that you're not gonna break your glasses by pouring in the hot sugar solution. Because we were measuring our rock candy sticks in here, just clean them out, make sure there's no more sugar inside your glasses. And just like that, you are ready to pour in your saturated sugar solution. So very carefully, because it'll still be a little hot, pour it into as many glasses as you like. Careful with the glasses, because they will be hot. And depending on the size of your glasses, you may have more glasses, you may have less. Now for the fun part, we are going to make this colorful. I'm going to use purple. Stir it with a spoon. Oh, beautiful, look at that. Oop. Stir it up. Whoa. And then finally, blue. Now we are ready to put in our rock candy sticks into the solution. And I recommend putting the glasses where you're going to leave them for the next seven days. Because we, ideally, <laughs> you would leave these sitting, letting them crystallize for a week. The science experiment takes patience, but the end result is pretty amazing. 
So go ahead, once they're there where you want them, carefully, slowly place your rock candy stick in the solution. You wanna cover up as much of the stick as possible. I have found that long skinny glasses work really well for this because you're not using as much solution, but you're covering that entire rock stick. A beautiful blue one. So now we just wait. And what's gonna happen as we wait over the next few days? Well, crystals are going to start building on your rock candy sticks because the solution is going to cool. Why does that matter? Well, hot sugar solution can hold more sugar than cold sugar solution. And as the solution cools, that sugar is going to want to jump out of the solution, to undissolve from the solution. That's why we covered our rock candy sticks with sugar, because that sugar that wants to undissolve, it wants to hold on to something. And that little something was our seed crystals on our rock candy sticks. So day by day, you will see more crystals building on your sticks. And after the first day, they're a little bit small, but be patient because they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And at the end of a week, you will have a very beautiful rock candy crystal. These were some rock candy crystals I prepared ahead of time. And after a few days of waiting, it'll look like this. You'll notice some crystals growing on your rock candy stick, but you'll also notice some sugar crystals on the bottom of the glass and right on the surface. So to get your rock candy out, you want to take your clothespin and just kind of break the surface of the sugar just like that, because we just want to be able to pull our stick out easily. Once you've done that, you're gonna wiggle your candy stick around and take it out. And you'll notice it's still dripping that sugar liquid there. Get your clothespin, bring it to another glass, and let it drip for just like 10 minutes. That's all you need. And then once that happens, you'll be able to have a delicious rock candy crystal. This one has been waiting in that solution for about three days. So you can tell it's not very big. That's why patience is key with this experiment. This one has only been in there for about two days, so it's quite small. And a word to the wise, use rock candy sticks instead of skewers. We use skewers here, and you'll notice some variability <laughs> because they have a hard time holding on to the sugar. When we coated our sticks with sugar at the start for our seed crystals, some of them stayed on, some of them fell off. Rock candy sticks are much better at this. So when you're shopping, get rock candy sticks. Our sugar solution became super saturated as it cooled down and created all of these beautiful crystals. This one was waiting for two days. This one was three days. These were all four days. And this big guy was eight days. You can see it mostly collected at the top here because again, we used a skewer and all of those seed crystals fell off of the bottom. So none of the crystals grew down here, but they very much grew up there, creating quite the unique crystal. Very cool. These sugar crystals have these beautiful geometric shapes because crystals occur when atoms arrange themselves in highly organized repeating patterns, creating these beautiful geometric shapes. Thank you for making rock candy with me today. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's Science Lab.